Walt Disney. The chase is on. I want the boy and the girl. Their names are Tony and Tia. We're survivors, Gregory. From another world. They've got a special power, and Aristotle Bolt wants it. Eddie Albert stars. Noah Beery and Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. guest star in the all-new suspense thriller, Beyond Witch Mountain, next on Walt Disney. Witch Mountain, a colony of survivors from another galaxy, forced to leave their world and settle here on Earth. The beings there possess powers as yet unknown to men of our planet. They have the ability to levitate matter, to communicate with Earth's creatures, and to see into the future. Their only comrade on Earth, Jason O'Day. This is the saga of two members who have chosen to leave the colony in search of other survivors. They are compelled to venture beyond Witch Mountain. without us. Come on! How do you know which way to go? I don't for sure. I just get a feeling. It's really like outside of Witch Mountain. We better hurry. I'm not an old fool and I'm not lost. I've got something here. What is it this time? Foreman, that is an old man. Try to remember we are looking for children, small people, a girl and a boy. Well, you listen. That doesn't sound like an old man to me. It's them. Fetch your weapon. Hello? Mr. Bolt? Yes, what is it? Well, our patience appears to have been rewarded, sir. We have the children in scan. My patience, Mr. Duranian. 
And let me impress upon you that your reward depends solely upon your bringing Tia and Tony to me unharmed. We're using tranquilized darts, sir. They won't be hurt. If they are, they'll be of little value to me. And you, Duranian, will be of none. They're following an old man. What are your instructions about him, Mr. Bolt? I want the boy and the girl. Do what you will with any others. Child, what are you doing here? You know it's not safe. We saw you leave last night, and we were worried about you. I'll take the old man. You take the children. What's that? Leah, go on, run. Run out that way. Hurry. Hurry. like telling me why you two followed me here? We came to warn you about the danger. You've got to worry about yourselves. What happened back there shows that Aristotle Bolt is still searching for you. He's going to be after you too now. I can take care of myself. Anyway, I'm not going back. You are. But why? I cannot leave without my grandson. Your grandson? I thought I'd lost him along with his father. But when that child's face came to me, I knew he was alive. Where is he? He's at a place up north called Grayson School, much like where you were raised. How can you be so sure it's him? I mean, it's been years. I'm sure. I'm sure. Let me show you. Open up your minds. There were a group of children being interviewed. They'd just been rescued from the wilderness. The kids had been on a nature hike. They were halfway across the stream on an old rotten footbridge when it gave way. We almost got killed. Mr. Roberts broke his leg. He'd maybe drown if it wasn't for Gregory. Tell us what he did. He wouldn't believe me. Ask Mr. Roberts. Lowell Roberts, an instructor at the Grayson School, was conducting the nature walk. Well, Gregory was lagging behind as usual, so he saw us fall. I remember one of the kids crying out for help. Gregory didn't move. He just kept staring at this big log. And then the log began to move. It's kind of hard to explain, but it just sort of floated up and repositioned itself across the stream where we could grab it and climb out to safety. All this reporter can verify is that a giant tree does appear to have wedged itself across Swiftwater Stream. Before they even announced what he had done, I realized I was looking into the face of my son when he was about that age. Tony, Gregory looks scared. Like we were. Remember when people saw what we could do with our powers? They thought we were weird. I always felt like an outcast. Now you know why I can't leave him. You're right, Uncle Benet. All the more reason we have to go with you. 
Oh, no, you don't, young lady. No, sir, this is my work. We love you. We can help. Gregory's one of us, isn't he? Tony's right. If you don't take help from your own family, you won't get any from those who aren't. And neither will Gregory. <laughs> you two don't leave a man much choice, do you? All right. Let's go find that Grayson school where he lives. Come on. Two grown men, and you managed to come up empty-handed. The foreman was injured, sir. You let the children get away. I couldn't very well shoot while I was dragging foreman, sir. Where those children are concerned, anyone is expendable, Mr. Duranian. Anyone. A single piece of information those children can provide. I can corner any market. Real estate, energy, Wall Street. Time lost is fortunes lost. A bonus. 10,000. If you bring them to me within a week. To your very good health, Mr. Bold. We get glimpses of things that are going to become important in our lives. N not everything, but well enough to give us the upper hand in some situations. One thing I do want you two to always remember, though. You must never let this power that we have become your master. What is it? Oh, I'm not sure. A house or a cabin? Maybe it belongs to other survivors like us. Nobody knows how many haven't found their way to Witch Mountain yet. Or ever will. Well, it's been a long day. It's time we turn in. What is it? Old age. I can hear my old bones creaking. Just like your father, always so serious. Well, you've got to go to sleep now. I love you. What was father like, Uncle Benet? Did he look like you? No. No, he was younger than I. Much better looking. Although people did say they could tell we were brothers. I can hardly remember now what it was like when we were born. Well, it was much like it is here. Only we had two suns above that galaxy there. Did we have powers there? Oh, yes, only they expanded with time. They got stronger the older we got. Here, I, I don't know, our powers just seem to be diminished right after a certain age. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Why do we have to leave anyway? We had no choice. Our sons were colliding. Well, you must go to sleep now. Tomorrow's going to be a difficult day on both of us. Danger. There's always danger, child. But nothing to be afraid of. Like all old men, I've 
had my days. You're leaving us, aren't you? You've known all along. I won't be with you in the morning, Tia. Now, now, don't cry, little one, don't cry. Don't cry. I don't want you to leave. Does it have to be, Uncle Benet? Yes. I thought I had more time for Gregory, but I was wrong. You must help him. Take him back to Witch Mountain. The longer he's alone, the more the danger grows. Go, Tia. The cabin for help. Don't go, please. Take care of one another. I love you. We love you too, Uncle Benet. May the blessed stars see you safely through your days. Are you going to be all right? I'm not going to cry anymore. And I won't be afraid. You? Maybe we should go back to Witch Mountain. He told us to. Not without Gregory. We don't even know where Grayson's school is. We'll find it. How? With help. Come here. I didn't recognize it at first. Do you know what it is? It's a cabin. Jason O'Day's cabin. Last night, that's where Uncle Benet said we should go. For help. Oh. All right. But if Jason's not there, we go back to Witch Mountain, agreed? Mm-hmm. Come on. Bye, Uncle Vinay. We'll always love you. We'll never forget you. <laughs> You're the only cat I ever knew who could drool. But forget it. This is my fish. Now, don't argue with me. Mickey, you had two big ones down at the creek. <laughs> and you know I never did like a fat cat. Last time I saw you, you were headed for Witch Mountain. A lot has happened since then. So it seems. And you look so ragtag and bobtail. You must have rolled down that mountain. Winky, how are you? Yes. I'm glad to see you too. Oh, he answers you, doesn't he? Uh, now, uh, you too hungry? I am. Oh. You're always hungry. 
Am not. And so, am not. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no more arguing. Not another word. And so, am not. And none of that mind talk, either. Now, uh, you go on and wash up. And after, I'll fix you a breakfast that'll hold you for a week. Yeah. Not to you. What are you here for, huh? You want my help. Had you know. Oh, young lady, I can read that sweet face of yours like a book. Uncle Benet found out that his grandson is still alive. Oh? A survivor like us. We want to find him and bring him back to Witch Mountain. But we can't do it alone. Uh, wait, 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 hold it. Uh, let's take one step at a time. Uh, after we eat, I have a feeling that I'm going to need a full stomach. Now, what did you say is the name of that school? Grayson. Grayson? It's right over there. Oh, right near Hainville. Ah, all right. My brother Hiram will be here this weekend. We'll take off for the north. Shouldn't take more than a couple of days, huh? Have some more Johnny cake. Jason, we can't wait that long. Why not? Gregory doesn't even know who he really is. And Mr. Bolt's after us again. Bolt? Well, you didn't mention him. Oh, look, kids. I'm very sorry about your Uncle Benet, but I, I can't take his place. I, I don't have his powers. You said you'd always think of us as your own children. Oh, I do. I, but uh, Brother Hiram needs me to put in the winter wheat, and uh, my Tim, my old shipmate, uh, he's in trouble again. Maybe we could help each other, huh, Tony? Oh, now cut that out. I can take care of that myself. Okay, Winky. What did he just say to you? He said he'd be leaving right away. Nobody expected this little boy from Grayson School to be a hero. This was the last thing. How long has he been silent this time, Dr. Morton? Oh, since the rescue. I understand you've worked with him before. Yes, this is the third time. He has these long periods of withdrawal. Well, see what you can do. Hi, Gregory. It's me. Adrian. I remember. You're the pretty doctor. I thought we were friends. Why won't you talk to me? You'll just think I'm strange, like everyone else. That's all right, Gregory. I'll just sit here with you for a while. And then if you feel like speaking, I'll listen. Well, my brother Hiram is Really gonna be sore when he reads my note, finds out that we started without him. Can this go any faster, Jason? Well, it'd be a waste of gas. I can help. Hey, stop that! Stop it! Put that magic flute back in your pocket, will you? And keep it there. You got that? Yes, sir. Of course, if, uh, if Bolt were on our trail, then I'd let you use that and be thankful. But uh, meanwhile, we'll just, uh, we'll just go along at the legal limit, huh? Okay? Yes, sir. Morning, Miss Bolt. Morning. may comfort you to know that Foreman is well and fit, Mr. Duranian. Eager again for the hunt. Start at square one? Square two. A change in plans. Bring me this man. Jason O'Day. Another alien? No. 
Day is the only outsider we've identified as a friend of the children. They're certain to seek him out. If I bring him here, the children will follow. Foreman has the location of O'Day's cabin. He's waiting. I want Jason O'Day here within 24 hours. Yes, Mr. Bolt. Taught you this game, huh? Uh, well, I can see. Hmm. He's cheating again. I know. Chip. Oh, you did it again. Young lady, are you using your magic to see the cards in my hand? I could. But I don't. I'd be cheating. I guess I've been playing solitaire too long. You kids will never know just how much I missed you. Yes, we do. We miss you too. A lot. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tia, are you all right? I heard him. It's Gregory. What do you mean you heard him? I heard him crying. At least I think I did. I get these feelings. You know, when one of us is lost and needing help. I don't know how to explain it exactly. But it's like I get these thought waves. Go in, I'll cover. He's headed for Hainville. That's up north, not far. What are we waiting for? Now that you two derelicts look decent enough to be seen, I'll call the school and find out about Gregory. Well, you do. Is it all right if we get an ice cream? It won't take a minute. Hey, yeah, yeah. I uh, tell you what, get me a, uh, hey, get me a double pistachio. And uh, don't spill anything on these new duds. Clothes don't grow on trees. On our planet, they do. He's joking, Jason. I'll see you back at the van. Hold it. I beg your pardon, Mr. Jason O'Day, is it? Is what? What are you, some wise old owl? You must forgive my colleague, but he tends to get a bit overzealous when in possession of a deadly weapon. Now open the door, deposit your packages, and be so good as to climb inside.
Shall we stop this nonsense? Mr. O'Day has decided to accept Mr. Bolt's invitation, correct? I don't seem to have much choice. All right, let's go. Come on. Will you hurry up, Tia? Hurry before this melts. Tony, wait. Gregory, I can see him. Where is he? Uh, uh, I can't tell. It's not a school. I see a lady in white. A nurse. He's been moved. Where? To a hospital. Come on. Where's Jason? Tony, something's happening to Jason. He's gone! Oh, no! Mr. Bolt's got Jason. So remote television cameras, an electrified fence, and of course the attack dogs that guard the grounds. All killers, I assure you. Yeah, I always appreciated a man who, uh, who loves animals. Foreman, bring the car around. I'll call you when I need you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Your health, Mr. O'Day. Uh, yours. Mr. Bolt hopes that you'll assist us in the uh, acquisition of the alien children, Tony and Tia. Uh, acquisition? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, come now, Mr. O'Day. You can make this not only more profitable, but less painful for all of us. Shall we say $250,000? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Not for $250 million. Too bad. We could have been such wealthy partners, perhaps even friends. Mm, no, I, I choose my own friends and, and my partners. Very gallant, I'm sure, but highly impractical. You'll certainly he'll tell us the truth. In a few minutes, he'll tell us even more than we want to know. See that he does. That's what they call it, dummy. Here, let me try it my way. God, Tony, you shouldn't have. I'll get her started. Come on. Ma'am, could we have a lift? Sorry, I can't. My engine just died. I've got an appointment I can't miss. Maybe if we fixed it, we could. If you could do that, honey, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I'm sure it's okay now. Try it once more. <laughs>
Dmitri is very sensitive, Mr. O'Day. Don't make any sudden moves. You've been so cooperative thus far. Cooperative? Sodium pentothal, Mr. O'Day. You've told us everything, from your wife's maiden name to where you hide your money in that peculiar vehicle you drive. <laughs> We also know you made contact with our young friends. And we're prepared to welcome them. You've become the bait. But why? Why, Mr. Bolt? You have money, power. You have everything. Not everything. But why, T and Tony? There must be other survivors. Some of them would want to work with you. T and Tony, the... They're innocent children. These are the only ones we know of. I want them. I get what I want. If there are others, I'm sure we can persuade the children to lead us to them. Yes. I'd be distressed to have one fall into the hands of a rival. <laughs> Are you sure you got straight, Winky? Don't be such a brainy cat. This dog's will hurt you. Winky, stop arguing. Jason needs you. Now go on. Keep me here forever. Oh, but I can, and I will. Remember what I told you. Negotiate. Uh, after all, uh, it's only a matter of just how much of the profits uh, you're willing to share with us. Us? Well, I think the children should get a little something, don't you? I think he's stalling, don't you, Mr. Bolt? I am sorry, O'Day, but. 
that you have nothing to negotiate with, except your life. Dimitri, good boy. Now I want you to leave. Go on now. Ah. Go on. Dimitri, come back. Dimitri! Just stay where you are. Now, Tony. Look, you know I don't take much to that funny stuff, but if you two can make this thing fly, you have my permission. Dad, do you think Uncle Bonet gave us enough power? No. Oh, hey, I need help. You handle it, Tony. I may suggest you may not, Mr. Durania. Turn right, Jason, please. But the Grayson School is to the left. Gregory's not. He's in the hospital room. That way. Jason, honest. I just know he is. in the ocean. And now a lot of us live in the valley, below which mountain. We have family and friends there. They'd really be happy to see you. But it's all up to you, Gregory. You could think it over. I don't have to. I had this feeling someone was coming for me. Uh, everything in order? Uh, yes, it seems so. I just have to sign these in my office, and then you can take your grandson home with you. So much grandson? Mm -hmm. I was thinking earlier how lucky Gregory is to have been found in time. This is what we're going to be driving in. It's Jason's camper. It could go really fast, especially yeah. where I make it go. We'll see you 
see you again, Jason? Oh, of course you will. We'll miss you. Oh, Tony, missing people gets easier every day. Okay, come on, off with you now. Bye bye. Is it very far? About a mile down the trail. But some of our people will meet us at the halfway point. Probably a whole welcoming committee. Tony, you're so happy. Keep thinking about all the others who belong here and don't even know about which mountain. I think Uncle Benet would want us to stay and search for other survivors. Yeah, me too. You think maybe Jason will help us find him? Gregory, you go ahead. Tell everybody. I know what to tell them. Did you forget? I'm one of you. I heard what you just said. Here. Your people are up there. Jason, we were thinking. Uncle Benet mentioned this girl who lives up in a lighthouse in Seattle. And we thought maybe... A girl who lives in a lighthouse in Seattle, huh? You really expect me to go gallivanting around the country uh, with you looking for these other survivors? And bring them home. To which mountain? Uh, Tony, <laughs> I've got things to do. I'm a busy man. My, my brother, he's waiting for me to help him put in the winter wheat. There's an old shipmate friend of mine who needs... Who... What are you grinning about? You don't always tell the truth, Jason O'Day. Telling those doctors he was Gregory's grandfather. And he cheats at cards, too. What are you two saying to each other? Tia just said you're a good card player. Oh, well, uh, thank you, Tia, but uh, an honest man. We'd have to tell the truth about that. And the truth is that uh, I cheat at cards. <laughs> 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 